Hey world, I'm Josh. Welcome to another Let's Try Stuff unboxing. And this product is brought to us by you, our lovely viewers. I um, just want to thank all of you who watch our channel. Uh, Lauren thanks you too. She's just uh, not here right now and this came in the mail and I'm too excited to just leave it in the box. But uh, if you're ever curious about making money on monetized YouTube videos, well, after 15 months, uh, you can buy a TriBest Slow Star Juicer. That is what we're unboxing, but you already knew that because you saw the title and you clicked on it. So thank you, viewers. We really appreciate everybody who watches our videos, comments, subscribes, especially love our subscribers. Um, let's dive into this. Okay, open it up, and there's styrofoam and cardboard. And these appear to be separate boxes. Okay, yeah, alright, let's see. Probably take the styrofoam out first, and that appears to be the machine, basically. And that is stout. That's heavy. I think this thing is almost all motor. This is basically a housing kind of around the motor, I think. Um, I mean, if you're looking at this, you probably know about it, and you're just trying to make up your mind. It's a 200 watt motor, 47 RPMs, and apparently has the same torque as a 9 horsepower motor, but we know that aspect is marketing talk. But I will tell you this, it's heavy. I have a Blendtec blender, two of them actually, and this is noticeably heavier. Uh, 200 watts, 120 volt plug is your typical three prong plug. I don't know if Breville owns the patent on that circle ring plug they do, but they should unleash that on the world because it's fantastic. Uh, it's got a... Uh, on and reverse button on the back nice red and black paint job it actually looks a lot better in person than I would have expected and there's a little slightly rough finish not as smooth as you would expect fairly durable feeling plastic and um, feels very skookum it, yeah I can see nothing but motor in there basically uh, and the lovely uh, ETL label, made in Korea, not the, uh, not the good one, whatever AVE channel always points to as the good one. Anyway, still, very robust, that's basically nothing but motor. Then we got our feed chute lid over here on the left side, well, probably the right if you're opening it up from the front. And the whole uh, screen processing wiper unit, the top there. Never owned a juicer before, so I don't really know all the right words. And you might think, oh, they must be trying to be healthy. No, we just wanted better cocktails. We wanted better juice for better cocktails because, well, we're degenerates. We like a good cocktail and we're tired of paying $12 for one. So instead we'll pay thousands of dollars for various devices to make our cocktails better. You know, makes sense, right? Comes with a uh, fine mesh screen. I didn't expect that. I actually uh, have one already, but this will come in handy. Be nice to have one that's just near the juicer. And then also a plunger for use only the included accessories it says on the back. Lovely. No kidding. Okay. Last bit. Hopefully. We've got uh, two pitchers. One presumably for the juice and one presumably for the pulp. They appear to be identical, and they uh, 
have markings up to 800 milliliters, but presumably would hold a thousand milliliters a liter. Uh, it feels like exactly the same plastic as um, those OXO pop top uh, lid, um, OXO, OXO, I don't know. That's how you spell it, OXO. Those pop top um, containers they sell. Uh, that's basically what keeps Bed Bath & Beyond's doors open. Let's see, what else do we have here? Obviously, a manual that comes with a cleaning brush in there and I guess a, a toothpick. Not really, but a hockey stick, maybe. Got a manual, operation manual. Um, it'd be cool if it had some recipes in it. I mean, not that you really need a recipe for juice, but I can't get this friggin' bag open. This. There we go. Let's see. Here's your recipe for juice. Insert fruit. Insert green stuff. Anything that holds water, insert. Yeah, I don't. It's just instructions on how to use it, clean it, store it. There's no. I don't see any recipes in there in my very quick brush through, but hey, you can experiment or find them online. Everything's online. You don't really need instructions. And this is an entirely different setup. This must be the mincing attachment. Um, it's a two-in-one thing. It's a, a uh, what do they call it here? Oh, it's dead air, Josh. Dead air. It is a uh, juicing and mincing attachment. Got it. And let's see if you want to see the box. Box is rather large. I gotta say, I'm impressed with the robustness of this. I was really wavering back and forth between the TriBest, uh, which has been. Um, endorsed by the Sweet Home and uh, and between that and the Omega which John the discountjuicers.com guy John something or other um, even he seems to have gone to the Tribest uh, over the Omegas I know the, tri I know the Omega has a uh, 15 year warranty and this has a 10 but let's face it Either one is way more than most companies, and also, what are the odds of... I mean, ten years, nine years and t eleven months, I probably would forget that I even had a warranty and just buy a new one, because there'd probably be new features, and that's probably exactly what they're counting on. So, not too complicated to lock that together and get this going. Got the little uh, juice exit chute. Pulp. I'll whack myself in the face with it. Pulp projection. Um, very cool. Happy to have this. And uh, thank you again, viewers. Uh, we really appreciate everyone. Um, I know we're a small, silly channel, but doing this stuff has resulted in some very cool things in our lives, like this juicer, products to review, coffees to try, um, ice creams to try. So. We appreciate all of it. We didn't expect anything, honestly. We never expected this to go anywhere. And not that anyone's watching, but just any sort of return is way more than we expected. We just wanted an excuse to try new stuff, so we started filming it. So, thanks again to all of you. It's been uh, great, and thanks for watching this unboxing. We'll see you next time with something else eventually in the next 15 months or so unless we catch on probably not though because we're not that interesting and I make nine and a half minute long unboxings so there you have it thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye